Hey folks, Nitno here. Today we're taking a look at the newly updated version 2.0 of Base Building Plus. We will then be creating our first simple base. I'll be going over everything you need to know from start to finish, including required tools, navigating the UI, and building a base from scratch. This video uses the chapter feature to easily skip around the video by topic. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. The basic workflow in Base Building Plus is farming building materials, crafting a workbench, and attaching a crafting book to that workbench. Pressing F will open the crafting menu, which is used to craft kits. You can then use those kits to make each piece of your base. We will go over each part of the process step by step. Some helpful tools we need along the way are axes to chop down trees for logs, saws to make logs into wood planks, and either a hatchet or hammer to craft our structure. Nails are needed for every step of the process and can be one of the major factors limiting the size of your base. On highly populated servers, nails can be quite rare. If you can't buy nails from a trader, you will have to search for them in sheds, garages, industrial areas, train carriages, and funny enough, I've found quite a few in outhouses. First thing to know, there are three tiers of building pieces. Tier 1 is crafted with wood and is the easiest to craft, but also the easiest to destroy. Tier 2 introduces sheet metal into the crafting process and provides a mid-tier base. Tier 3 includes concrete bricks and mortar mix for the highest level base you can craft and the most difficult to raid. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on building a tier 1 base. It is the easiest to get started with and is what I would suggest for practicing making your first BBP base. Let's get started. First, we will need to build a workbench. Combine a crafting book with six planks to craft the workbench. Now place your crafting book on the workbench Pressing F will open up the workbench UI. Here is where you will craft kits. The item cost will be displayed on the right hand side. Now that we have our workbench, we can load up the workbench with nails and planks. Our beginner base will require three wall kits, one door kit, and one roof kit. The total cost of these kits will be 25 nails and 25 planks. If you have the mats, let's go ahead and craft the kits all at once. Personally, my workflow is typically to sketch out the base with holograms to make sure everything lines up first, and then I'll build all the frames and complete each piece. Place your first wall hologram. Rotate the wall with scroll wheel until the side facing you says inside. Some helpful keybinds will now be displayed in the top right. Down arrow will enable snapping. Mouse wheel will rotate the snap points. Left arrow will cycle kit options. For instance, some pieces have a small or large variation. Page up to move the hologram up. Page down to move the hologram down. Up arrow will open rotation UI. And L will toggle object inventories. If you're not able to see the inventory and object, Press L, sometimes that fixes it. There is also a notification if snapping is on or off. Make sure snapping is enabled by pressing the down arrow. Place the second wall kit in your hand. Click and scroll wheel to cycle through the snapping options. This can sometimes be a little tricky and you may have to redo this process a few times to get it right. Once the wall is correctly snapped, hold down a left click to place your second wall. Next, place your third wall. Then, place your door kit in the available opening.
And finally, place your roof kit. Now is a good time to take a run around your holograms to make sure everything is lined up correctly. Everything looks good. Let's build the frame by adding the required nails and planks to each hologram. With all the materials placed, use your hammer or hatchet and select build frame on each piece. Lastly, we will finish up each section by adding the materials needed for the outer layer of each piece. Now grab your hammer or hatchet and put everything together. You can lock the door by attaching a code lock to it. Insert a code and make sure to keep it as random as possible. If you have trouble remembering your code, go ahead and write it down. There you go, you now have your first base. Make sure to check out my other base building content by clicking on the left or right. I do have a DayZ server that you are welcome to join and test out base building plus for yourself. Information can be found in the description. We do have a Discord to join that can be found below as well. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you.